Hello beautiful people of the internet, what's up, it's Carol Keisha. Now that we've moved into the fall season, I guess I'm pretty late since it's October, um, <laughs> today's video is going to be an updated fall skincare morning routine to share with you guys what new products I've been using, so on and so forth. So. Don't mind my voice because I literally just woke up. <laughs> but if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. When I start my mornings, I love to start with a little bit of a ambiance. So usually I'll have music playing in the background. Um, I'm not doing that right now because I'm filming, obviously. But that's what I usually have. My morning routine is usually like a meditative experience. Sometimes it's a quick one if I have to go somewhere really quickly. Or sometimes if it's a weekend especially, I like to draw it out and let it be a really long experience. But Let's get started. The first step, of course, is to cleanse your skin. I generally rotate between two cleansers, an active cleanser and a gentle cleanser. This is the Benz Gel 5% Benzoyl Peroxide, and this just helps to get rid of any of the acneous bacteria on your skin to prevent acne from forming. My skin has been really smooth recently and really clear. We've been loving that, and it definitely has something to do with benzoyl peroxide. The other cleanser that I've been using a lot is the CeraVe. Um, this is their hydrating cream to foam cleanser. You guys know I've been using this. I've been talking about this for forever. These are the ones that I'm currently using, but generally speaking, it's an active or a gentle cleanser that I rotate between. This morning, we're actually gonna use this one. And my neck is always included in my face as well. Once that's done, I like to get a reusable microfiber makeup wipe or face rag and I soak this in some water and use it to remove the cleanser on my face. This helps in a number of ways. One, it warms my face so it helps to soften my skin a little bit more as well to prepare it for the next step as well as it helps me not to get water all over my face basin because I'm just using a towel. And this morning I'm going in with the Witch Trend Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. And this is what I'm gonna be using to exfoliate my skin. In the mornings, I typically like to use some sort of hydrating mask if I can, because if you can get hydration in the morning, it's gonna make your skin look super plump and full and smooth and gorgeous and all those different things. So I do like using a face mask. Today, I'm gonna to be using one as well. I have my eye mask. This is the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Hydrogel Eye Patch. And I'm gonna be using this underneath my eyes. This is just gonna to help to add hydration under my eyes. And if you are wearing makeup, eye masks are perfect for plumping up the area you can use an eye cream as well but i like to use the hydrogel mask because if i do have like puffiness in the morning um after waking up it will help to get rid of that too there you go And it really doesn't matter what direction you put these eye masks in. At this point, I will apply some sort of hydro mask on my face, some sort of moisturizing mask, just so something to give my skin more plumpness as well, while my eye patches are sliding around the place. So this morning, I'm gonna be using the Adipo Fat Balance Activator. Now this product was sent to me. It's supposed to be like this product that activates the fat in your skin to tone them up. Now, you definitely have to use this for a long time to see a real big difference, but I do like how moisturizing it is, and that's why I use it. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit pricey, so, you know, be warned of that. You don't really have to rub this product in, you just want to get it everywhere. And you essentially leave this on until the product turns clear. In the morning, you can leave this on for five minutes or so. In the evening, you can leave it on overnight. 
Um, since I'm using it in the morning, I'm just gonna put it on for five minutes and then I'll be good to go. And while that is on my face, I don't wanna leave my lips without any sort of hydration. So I'm gonna be using the I Do Care Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. And I'm gonna leave that on for five minutes as well. Like I said, this is not an every morning thing. This is a when I have time morning thing. <laughs> okay, so it's actually been 10 minutes because I got distracted, but the longer the better. Time to remove this from our face. And one of the reasons why I like using moisture masks versus using like an actual full blown mask when I'm using these eye patches is because the eye patch is a serum. You don't really want to wash that off. So if you're using a mask, you're more likely to just go ahead and wash your face, which is also why the rag comes in help and in handy because you can just remove the mask without moving the eye area. We're gonna go in with a hydrator. The one that I'm using is the Haggai, Hagi, I don't know how to pronounce it, Relief Chamomile Mist. This one was sent to me as well, but I do love this one so much. It's just so gentle on the skin. I have a video talking about some of the ingredients on this already, so I'll link it down below or in the cards. Um, but this is just a beautiful calming face mist. I love using this in the morning. It just gives me so much hydration. You pat it in. It calms down any redness, it hydrates, like I can go on about this for days. And it's so simple. Mm, and it smells amazing. Pat your skin. Then we want to go in with our actual treatments. So I am currently using niacinamide, which is something I always use. This is one from the Inky List. And I try to do this while my skin is still damp, so I don't want to talk too much. Put this in. And it soaks it up so nicely. Now this one from um, the Inky List is one of my favorite niacinamides because it doesn't leave your skin sticky or that weird feeling. It just goes right in. Usually I would go into some sort of vitamin C or brightening serum because I am currently using the Dr. V kit. I haven't really been using this too much, but this is the 20% vitamin C professional serum from um, Belle Volve, and this is the Ordinary's Alpha Arbutin. Usually I would go in with these two because I'm trying to get rid of dark spots on my face, but because I'm using the kit, I omit from using that until I'm done my testing of that kit in general. So instead, I will actually go in with my Epiclar Adapalene. Now this is how I make use of my retinol. Because I'm using the kit, I can't really use retinol at night, so instead I use it in the morning. And just kind of like massage it in. And for those asking, yes, I did use a mandelic acid before using the retinol, but because I used the mask, I did wipe it off. So it's not like it's sitting on my skin and then I'm using the retinol. If you are going to use the exfoliating um, toner, do not use the retinol at the same time. But if you're going to wash it off, like if it's a cleanser or toner like I did, washing it off, it's completely fine. Next, I'm going to go in with these two products that were sent to me from La Roche Posay. Now, I have been loving these as well. Um, I really like La Roche Posay. I I usually use a lot more of their body products than their face products, but they've been sending me some face products recently. And of the ones that I have received, these ones I do love so freaking much. Like these lotions are beautiful. This one reminds me, so this one is the Tolerane Dermat Dermage. I can't pronounce that, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. This is their fluid, and this one's more of like a like a what do you call it? an essence, no, not an essence, emulsion. You know, like K-Beauty, they have emulsions. It's kind of like that type of product. They're like a gel cream. And I love layering them because I love my skin to look nice and plump and hydrated. So I love using both. And that is because it is dry here in Toronto. So I want to make sure my skin is moisturized and no water that's leaving my skin. Um, so the next one is the cream. Same type of product, but this one has a uh, thicker consistency and what I like about this line specifically is it's for your microbiome So it's supposed to balance all the good and bad bacteria on your skin and just make sure that the area is healthy and provides a good environment for 
um, preventing acne, right? Or preventing just anything on your skin. Healing the skin, prevention, all of that good stuff. And it has a really nice scent as well. Now you can never, of course, forget SPF, especially because I'm using retinol and other type of brightening ingredients. I want to use more of a mineral um, SPF versus a chemical one, also because it can be irritating if you're just using a chemical one alone. So I do want to use a mineral one. The one that I'm using is the Dr. V Inzincable Invisible Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 50 for UVA and UVB protection. So we're going to put that on our face. And of course, we have our two finger lengths and go ahead. It actually feels so good. Okay, after a few minutes, it's going to settle into the skin and you're not going to see any cast. However, I do find that my fingers get a little bit grainy or greasy, so I do want to wash my hands. All right, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip balm. The one that I'm using is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the color Clear. And that's the end of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what products you love using in your morning routine because I'm always looking for some new fab steals. <laughs> Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye.